Hi everyone. Back again. Kathy Arbor here. Uh, I got uh, quite a few um, requests to continue doing my faces and um, I'm going to use a picture out of this book that I showed you in the last um, video, the Facial Expressions book by Mark Simon. And this time I'm going to be using this face here. As you know, I usually like to put a little bit of a funny twist on my um, drawings in my grunge book, and that's what I'll be working on today. So um, I've already done a simple drawing out um, on one of my pages. And, oh, yes, this uh, I did on the 20th, uh, about four days ago. Uh, I don't know if anyone um, knows the uh, show called Rain. Um, this is the um, Mary Queen of Scots being crowned. And um, I was watching the one of the episodes um, and I paused it and it was paused right exactly at this. And oh man, would that ever make a neat drawing. So that's what I did. I paused it and I drew it out quickly and um, left it for me to play with at another date. And this is what I turned out to be like. Um, I like it. I again added just a hint of color here in the crown. It's um, sepia in <clears throat> the um, the golden um, flow acrylics, and um, I like it. It's just just a hint of color. It just seems to I don't know give it a little bit of interest. Um, there's not a lot of color in my grunge book, but I, I, like, I really like this. Um, I'll see if I can zoom in here so you can take a better look at it. Um, again, a, a little bit of a humor to this, to debts I had. <laughs> Well, being the queen, I guess she doesn't really have any debts, and all her debts will be paid by her people. Um, again, these journals are just for experimenting with, um, seeing what you can do, and each piece you learn a little bit of something. Um, you try something because it's not as scary doing it in a journal than on a, um, an actual canvas. Um, and I'm really enjoying this process. Uh, it's it's kind of a freeing way of um, experimenting. Um, so my next one <clears throat> is going to be on this page here, and it's that girl that I told you about. And let's see, we can bring her in. I think that's close enough for you. There we go. And I'm going again. We'll be using the shading gray in the um, there we go in the fluid acrylics, and I'm not too sure what I'm going to be putting in <clears throat> um, as far as a color. I may not put a color in. I would like kind of like to fill in the background a little more though, but I'm not sure what that will be yet. Um, sometimes it just takes me till the very end before I know, or you know, it's kind of the page kind of talks to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is start shading the darkest areas first, and um, I'll speed up the video and stop when you need to know something. All right, here we go.
Um, as you see, I've used the shading gray in the uh, golden fluid acrylic. And um, there's uh, varying, varying tones of the gray. And um, that was done by just watering it down um, a little bit. And um, it kind of gives you a mid-tone gray, not a real definite black. Um, so to get the more depth in your drawing, you need to um, then add black and um, white as your highlights. So um, I'm going to let this dry and then I will um, continue with the shading gray and then start adding um, black. Because this is such a smaller face drawing, I will probably be using um, marker with the black and pen. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I've added the white highlights and um, I'm going to let it sit and dry and then I'm going to come back to it and see if I need to add any more and then I'll start doing marker. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, I like it so far. I think what I'm going to do is um, 
finish the eyes and the mouth with a uh, marker, fine marker, and then I'll see if I have to add anything else to it. I always find that once the eyes are done, the eyes are the, they say, the windows of the soul, and it makes all the difference in a portrait if you can get the eyes done. So I think that's what I'll do. So uh, I'll speed it up. Talk to you in a bit. this dry. The mouth I'm still not too sure about. I still have to tweak it a bit. There's a few odds and sods I have to fix up. I have to finish with the highlights in the hair. Um, so while that's drying I thought I would do around the um, the outside of the page. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably using a stencil and hmm, I'm not sure 
guess you'll have to wait and see what I do. Okay, um, I've written like goodbye, bye, and um, I think this is a page that's more like um, I've got, you know, postal marks, so goodbye, she's kissing or blowing a kiss, so I think this, the chevron kind of looks, reminds me of, um, you know, the, the postal um envelopes that you would get that are red and blue so i think i might see if i can uh, do um i don't know if i'm going to do red and blue maybe blue i think i might put a little red in i don't know i'll see um so that's what i'm going to do um and I'm probably going to use some craft paint. than what I normally do in my um, oh, in my um, this particular grunge journal um, I, think I need to do a little bit more work on the lips but it's looking pretty good I'm liking what I see um, probably work with so small that I have to um, work with something smaller than what my markers are. So I think I'm going to get my um, Signo White. There we go. Uniball. Signo. So it just needs a little, little bit. Of, uh, make sure it's working first. Just a little bit of there. Um, I'm thinking of possibly toning this down a little bit with some uh, white that's watered down. Oh, I just have to do a little bit of highlighting in the hair, and then I'm done. Let's 
So, I hope you've enjoyed watching me do this. Um, and I hope you guys give it a try. Um, you know, so many of you want to do these faces and um, I know a lot of you like the more realistic look. Um, it's not that difficult and it really is all about practice um, and everything you do, every mistake you make, you question it and look at it and study your picture or the area that um, you feel isn't right and it's all about leaving it coming back with fresh eyes taking another look at the area that you're not satisfied with and you'd be surprised on what you can see if you come back after coffee or even the next day you'll spot it right away um, so I till next time I hope you um, enjoyed this and have a great evening and um, for all my American friends happy Thanksgiving and I will see you soon bye